What is going on YouTubers, Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today in this video, we're going to be providing a little quick update about the RAM radio that I installed about three months ago. If you guys saw that video, I mentioned that I purchased this truck around November 2017 and around the middle of December, I got this uh, radio and I installed it. It wasn't very popular out there, so I decided to complete my little review about it and the video became, I would say, somewhat popular. And for that reason, I think I have the obligation here to provide to you guys the update after using it for about three months. So the radio has been fantastic guys and as I have been using it I have found uh, certain connections that I forgot to complete and one of them has to do with the USB hub um, on the RAM. As you guys know it comes in the middle console when you open um, the lid inside there's a little USB uh, port and I was connecting it incorrectly. It goes underneath the connections where the radio um, has all the main connections you will find one in particular that will power on the USB hub and you need to do this because in the future if you get any updates you can easily download it from your computer connect a little flash drive into this USB hub and this is going to recognize it as an update device and you can complete it a lot easier than taking the radio apart connecting something directly to it or one of those uh, extra USB ports that came with it it's going to be you know a lot more difficult when you can complete it with the USB hub that came with the RAM and let me tell you guys it works absolutely fantastic another thing I got here to use with the radio uh, in this particular case I'm using T-Mobile I know that AT&T and Verizon they offer their own um, hotspot devices but in this particular case I'm using one from T-Mobile that it only works with um, cars so you have to connect it to the OBD reader and it provides internet to your car right now I have unlimited internet for about $25 a month again with T-Mobile and I am getting right here the Wi-Fi connection you guys can see it right there and the cool part is that I have Wi-Fi all the time and I can connect any other uh, device that I want to like my cell phone a tablet because right now my truck currently has Wi-Fi built in so this is something that you guys uh, I would say you must get in order to get the enjoyment from um, from this particular radio right now if you guys look here on my app list I do use uh, Google Music or Play Music because it provides uh, quality sound to the speakers uh, than the radio does. So don't take me wrong, the FM AM radio works absolutely fantastic and I don't have any problems with the signal, but you guys can't deny the fact that having um, songs played directly from here is a lot better than the radio. Uh, second of all, if you guys have something like YouTube and you have all this application that will consume a lot of data, yes, you can use your hotspot, but that's only going to be good for so uh, long. And keep in mind that you have to keep turning on and off your hotspot to provide internet, and I think it becomes a little bit of an inconvenience. Another thing I completed, I don't know if you guys saw that video, well, it is not really that popular, but um, I went ahead and installed the backup camera on the truck. I mentioned when I first completed the tutorial, the main one, I mentioned that I didn't have the backup camera so I got that hooked up and this thing works great. As a matter of fact here, um, I'm going to be placing the truck in reverse and you guys will notice how we got the image right here and it provides some uh, lines telling you uh, well that green is okay, I mean you still have enough distance then it'll go into yellow and red means that well you're about to hit it. So it does have very nice colors right now, it is almost uh, nighttime here so um, you guys can still see that everything is very nice and um, you know I would say uh, very high definition to be honest with you guys I mean I know you can't see that here through the camera but when you see it in person it looks a lot better and also at nighttime you can still view everything thanks to the reverse lights once they turn on and also you have your um, uh, brake lights on it's going to give you a very nice image as well so I don't have any complaints here when it comes to the uh, reverse camera also you can activate it as I said before if you go here into cam and you need to activate it while you're driving so here you can do it manually as well so again you have two options and like I said guys overall this radio is just simply awesome the AC controls at least I'm not having any problems a lot of people were having problems but I'm always telling them that there's a main connection that goes on the back side around this area on the back side of this radio that needs to be connected it's a white harness if I'm not mistaken you need to make sure that it pushes in all the way because sometimes you may think because it goes in a little bit tight that it has connected but in reality you need to push it a little bit more in order for it to get all the connections um, connected otherwise it is not going to work um, I 
I had a similar problem. I started playing with it. I pushed it a little bit more and then all of a sudden my AC came on. So right now you guys can see that I do have the AC controls working properly. Another thing is that while well, this truck came equipped originally with the uh, seven speed uh, for the fan. Now this one only has four. In order to activate it to go at full blast, right now I can turn it on and it is you know it is quite decent but if you want something more powerful you need to select max ac and now you guys can see that it's blowing even harder okay so now it has gone to its full potential and it's going to be a little bit cooler so this is how it gets activated just don't forget about that guys everything else here guys works absolutely great right now i don't have any lags whatsoever and don't take me wrong this is still android so sometimes it does lag especially when you try to do a lot of things at the same time like use the radio control the ac you have something running in the background and for that reason it is suggested that you guys kill the applications um quite often so that it doesn't um get slow so right now i have about four apps open on here so what i do is i slide here to the side and i kill them all and also guys i want to share with you all the updates that i have done to the ram outside first of all on the grill here in the front side you guys can see that i have added these inserts it is not a new grill they are just uh, clip-on inserts um, they look kind of cool in my opinion um, i am a chrome guy i can't get rid of the chrome unfortunately guys i'm not one of those guys that like to plastic dip their uh, logos and make them black i like my chrome on my trucks uh, so that's one of the first things I did. The second thing I added to the truck is the window sills. They are now chrome. They used to be black as well as the chrome handles. And now something I got for this truck that I haven't seen videos out there is the rear uh, tail lights. Right now I have what they call the OLED tubes on it. And you guys can see that it looks very cool and it looks actually very similar to the 2019 models. Okay, so they have that OLED tube going around the corner and these ones have it and a lot of people are asking me for them especially when I drive around uh, they say hey you know where well, you got those uh, tail lights and obviously they also ask me here for the radio and I tell them hey you know I made a video about it go check it out and I will provide all the information right there that you need in order to get this thing installed well um, the tail lights I never made a video about them uh, I don't see any videos on YouTube but in case you guys again own this truck they look absolutely great at least in my opinion I love them and they came from Mai. she went ahead and searched online she surprised me it was around Christmas time and let me tell you guys I love that particular accessory that I added to the truck also I got the steps the are chrome as well and the tints so I went uh, illegal on the tint I like very dark tints I think these trucks look amazing with black tints um, and I'm talking about illegal ones it makes them look like they're just a mean ass truck and overall guys I think I have done so far enough I won't do anything else to it because I don't want to overdo it especially on the chrome part with this being said if you guys have any questions you just let me know in the comment section below don't forget to like this video subscribe for more and I'll see you guys on my next one